Really now? Who do those Akihabara freedom fighters think they are? Eh, I wouldn't worry about them. I didn't think they seemed like bad people or anything. You say people, I say weirdos. Still, I seem mostly harmless. Harmless? No, they're a huge problem. Didn't you hear what their boss said? They're trying to nullify the delusions. That's our job. The nerve, I swear. Ah, uh, Master Asahi. Moi, how are you feeling? Oh, much better. But I can't shake the feeling that I've somehow caused you and your friends a lot of trouble. Nah, not at all. Don't even worry about it. I'm just glad you're okay. That goes for me, too. Oh, thank you. But, um, Master Asahi, may I ask you something? Yeah, what's up? Why am I here? And why are you and your friends watching over me? Oh, uh, that's... Uh... I remember being in a very strange place. It was very blue and a bit gaudy, to be frank. And I have this memory of going somewhere else, too. Somewhere that kind of resembled a shop, but kind of didn't. Hey, what's going on here? Isn't she not supposed to remember all this? Moe, would you mind telling us everything you remember? Oh, certainly. Um, I feel like I fought something. With Master Asahi and the rest of you at my side. But my memories of doing so were very hazy, like a dream. You remember more than I would have expected. I believe this is a type of afterimage. Afterimage? Sometimes, after all is said and done, the Deluser remembers bits and pieces of the experience. Oh yeah, the audio guy remembered a little too, didn't he? Yes, and that's about what you can expect out of a Deluser. Barring rare cases like reuse, of course. Although pieces of the delusion are still present, they always fade and disappear with time. So you think she's alright? For sure? Could it be that you and your friends saved me from the world inside my dreams, Master Asahi? Hmm, that's a pretty loaded question. Let's call it half true and half not. We did rescue you, but it still seems you're caught up in the delusion to an extent. Well, um, is there anything I can do to repay you for your kindness? Oh, no, we don't need anything. We helped you because we wanted to. The sentiment alone is thanks enough. We're very appreciative, Moe. Mm, I'm not sure I can accept that. Someday, somehow. Please allow me to do something to make this up to you. Oh, okay. We'll think of something and let you know. All right. Thank you very much. Moe! <laughs> Nana! Let's go back home together, okay? The roads at night aren't safe for a lone girl. You might even get kidnapped. Thank you for looking out, Nana. Whatever you all did for me today, I am most grateful. Until next time. I guess that wraps up the maid delusion chapter of our story. There's still one very important question left unanswered, though. Who was the man in the pink cape? No, nah, -uh. nope. You're not seriously suggesting we go search for him now, are you? We've done enough for one day, and I'm so tired I feel like I might fall over and shatter into a million pieces and die. Really now? You can be such a prima donna. Is how I'd respond to that if I weren't so exhausted myself. It's been a long, complicated day. I'm pretty tuckered out too. Let's pick this up tomorrow. Say, one o'clock again? You including me in this too? Of course I am. Did you forget you promised you'd join us in our quest? No, I didn't forget. Because I never promised you a damn thing. Just give it up, man. Even if you refuse, they'll just show up at your house and drag you out. Happened to me. What? Two o'clock, huh? Not the latest I've ever been. I'm probably safe at least, huh? You're late. Hey, Yamato. Morning. Looks like you decided to join us after all. Could it be you were looking forward to this? Hell no. Whatever you say. Where are Saki and Mippity anyway? That's what I'd like to know. Good morning. Well, this is quite a surprise. You made it here right on time. What are you talking about, right on time? Wait. Yeah, now I see what you did. I planned for us to meet at two from the start, 
so I lied and told you it was one so you'd actually show up on time. <laughs> I was in on it. Sorry. Now that's just devious. So you kept me waiting an extra hour for no reason at all. Where's my apology? Now that the gang's all here, let's get started, shall we? Oh, Master Asahi! Hey, Moe. What brings you all the way out here? Looking for you and your friends, as a matter of fact. Really? What do you need us for? On my way to the cafe this morning, I encountered a strange door. Then I remembered what happened yesterday and knew I had to find you. So, the door jogged your memory then? Not exactly. I still don't remember everything, but I know enough to say that things in Akihabara aren't right. So I wanted to come out and give you something as a token of my appreciation. You seriously hunted us down just to thank us? I mean, we would have stopped in at your cafe sooner or later. Well, you and your friends are busy destroying the delusion spreading through Akihabara, right? What? That's exactly right! So I thought there was no time to waste. Look, there really isn't anything you have to do for us, you know. We don't even want anything. It's nothing big. I just thought maybe I could show you around Akihabara. If you wouldn't mind, of course. Show us around? Um, at our cafe, we maids offer a tour guide service for tourists and those who might not be as familiar with the town. We show them the famous sites and most interesting lesser known spots. It's been very popular with our guests, so I thought I would extend the offer to you as a way of saying thanks. You're patrolling the town for clues, are you not? A little extra structure in your route could prove beneficial. I appreciate your very gracious offer, but I think it would be best not to involve you any further. Miss Maid, I welcome your tour with open little arms! <gasps> Master Pinkoon at your service! Not the time, Pinkoon! Aw, oh, come on! If I'm gonna keep fighting for Akihabara, I think I should at least learn a little more about it! He's got a point. You have to encourage this? I'm interested too. Besides, it gives me a chance to learn some things from Moe. And there are sure to be lots of places none of us know about. We should learn more for the good of our mission. Either way is fine by me. <sighs> fine. But only so we can look for new delusions that might have cropped up. This is work, got it? Work! Mr. Saki, thank you so much. My spirits are already soaring. Shall we get started then? I can hardly wait to tour with all of you. And especially you, Master Pinkun. Yeah, hee hee! <laughs> Come on down to the office, Lady Cafe, where every day is business casual. We're sure to suit all your needs. Man, they've even got OL cafes now? Oh, Asahi, don't tell me you're a good OL boy. N no, I'm not. Jeez. It's okay. You don't have to hide it. I'm a fan of cosplay myself, after all. Whoa, 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 hold the phone. You're a cosplayer? Well, an aspiring one, I guess. I just like to look at the costumes. Oh, wait, wasn't there a cosplay shop right around here somewhere? Hmm, a cosplay shop, huh? Well, there might be one inside Soldier Zone. Yeah, that's the one. Um, uh, do you think I could run in there real quick and see what they have? Oh, yeah, sure. I mean, I can go with you, too. Right then, off I go. Or not. Sure are. Did you find any cute costumes? I did. Nothing but super cute ones, in fact. Everyone a winner. They kind of inspired me, so I think I'm going to make one myself sometime soon. Make one yourself? Really? That's right. The finest clothing is the clothing you make yourself. But first things first, we have to find some cloth. Hmm. Cloth, huh? Can't say I ever really looked for any before. Do they sell that kind of stuff in Akiba? Oh, I have a very specific cloth in mind, and I know right where to get it. I've been thinking about it for a while. Well, that'll certainly save us some time. Will you come with me? Uh, I guess? Where is it? The Maid Delusionscape! The... What?! Uh, Nippity? Are you really planning to use cloth from Delusions? It's economical! Y yeah that's one word for it. We need to find those Delusions that use magic. I should be able to get what I need from... Mm, 
let's say five of them. Okay, so we're going to kill five monsters and loot their bodies then. Quite a bold, innovative plan. Let's do it. but mindfully. Four customers. Make sure you don't get surrounded. No problem. Nice job. Five. Let's head back out, shall we? Look at all the super cute cloth we got. Yeah, it's definitely cloth. Right? And what's more, we even got a little tougher in the process of gathering it. It's win-win. Killing two birds with one stone, huh? That's right. Being an idol isn't just about looks or talent, but physical strength, too. Training is essential. Yeah, but if you keep on training like that to get all your clothes... Hello, Green Sticks! I'm Akihabara Swola Singer Mippity Mop, a.k.a. Ryu Mimose, age 14! Let's hippity hop straight to a diving elbow drop out of nowhere! <sighs> There's no telling what'll happen. Huh? Ah, uh, save point. Shall we take a break? Here, you can see the famous Radiola Kaikon Assembly Hall. This is such a prominent building, but I can't say I've ever been inside. What's in there anyway? Oh, please allow me to explain. Established in 1953, the Radiola Kaikon building is now a staple of the Electric Town exit from Akihabara Station. Due to weathering and decay, it was closed for renovations in 2011, but reopened with renewed vigor in 2014. Originally, as its name would imply, it was a hub of stores selling parts for radios and other electronic devices. But now, in keeping with the changing times, it's full of stores that sell manga, figurines, trading cards, etc. And they've all got pretty good selections, too. Hmm? Yamato, have you been here before? Uh-huh. Oh, uh, nah. Just heard about it from my brother, is all. Well, your brother is quite correct. Every store is full to bursting with goods. There's nothing you can't find. It's a collectible shop. Perhaps we can buy some trading cards here.
And here we have the famous electronic superstore, Tonoden. I've heard of it before, but this is the closest to it I've ever been. You might not know the store very well, but you simply must be familiar with its commercial jingle. I'm afraid I'm not. How does it go? Allow me to sing it for you, if I may. <clears throat> Tonoden, pay less yen, the future's here, we hold tech dear. Is about how it goes. Woo! Clap, clap, clap! Moe, you're a really good singer! Well, I do think I recognize it now. If you've heard it once, it will linger in your brain forever. It's like a magic jingle. A relic from a time when Akihabara was a consumer electronics haven. It's a save point. Perhaps we should make use of it. Here we have what's commonly known as Junk Street. Oh, oh, question! Why is it called that? Do you know? A very good question. I do, in fact. This street has shops selling PC parts and other electronic components in abundance. In fact, it's famous for having shops with so much on offer that they have to display much of it outside. Not all of these products are new, however. Lots of them are actually scrap. Or in other words, junk. Thus, over time, people came to refer to this as Junk Street. Well, I certainly learned something new today. Thank you very much. I feel a little bit smarter now. Oh, but Mistress Ryu, I'm not done yet. I still have one more bonus topic to tell you about. In recent years, Junk Street has seen more than just retail outlets, but an influx of restaurants as well. From kebabs to ramen and spit roasts to gelato, Junk Street now sells junk food in abundance as well. You got the money, I got the goods. Step right up and take a look. Ah, there are even junk people here. Wait, it's you. Huh. Yeah, that black marketer lady. Good day to you, Mistress Shariko. You know her? Of course. Mistress Shariko is quite famous around here. To those in the know, at least. I feel like a freaking celebrity in this town. Isn't that bad for business? Speaking of which, isn't it a little early and right to be making illicit deals? Oh, out here, I sling something a little different. What do you say? You want to get a hit of a quest or two? Sorry, did you just say quest? You got a listening problem? You feel like doing something for someone, you talk to me. Got lots of work to offer you. Don't know if you saw the shirt, but I'm really not looking for work. Trust me. It's a save point. Perhaps we should make use of it. Can you tell us a bit more about this place? Certainly. What would you like to know? Well, I've always kind of wondered what it is. It feels very un akihabara like to me. It's called UBX. It was created as part of the redevelopment of Akihabara in 2006. It's all offices from the fifth floor up, though, so it does clash a little with the usual image of Akihabara. But it does have an event hall as well, where you'll find everything from business conferences to anime meetups. Lots of restaurants, too, making it a pretty handy spot for a lunch break. That's right! You can find anything from reasonably priced udon to yakiniku to okonomiyaki here. It's a great lineup. My personal recommendation goes to their 500 yen meals. They come with all-you-can-eat egg rice bowls and everything. Huh. I guess I learned something today, too. Thanks, Moe. What am I, chopped liver? That should about do it for the Akihabara tour, for now. For now? Well, I was hoping you'd let me come with you, if it's not too much trouble. What? I mean, don't get me wrong, I'd be glad to have you along, but what about work? Will the cafe survive without you? It'll be fine! I wasn't asking you. Dingus. Nana's tending the cafe, so it should be all right. Besides which, 
I can't just ignore things the way they are. For realsies? We appreciate the sentiment, Moe, but we don't want to ask you to skip work and ruin your perfect record for us. Not at all. Mr. Saki, you and your entourage here are my personal saviors. This is the very least I can do. Moe, I want to be just like you when I grow up. You're so, so noble. I guess that's a hearty welcome aboard. Good to have you. No, no, the pleasure's all mine. So, since we've been walking around all day, I'd like to suggest we... We're not going home. Yeah, that's what I figured. But I am glad we walked around as much as we did. It helped us glean some valuable clues. Are you kidding? We didn't glean anything but some helpful Akiba trivia. There wasn't a delusion to be found. You're right. We didn't find any delusions. What we found was something even more valuable. The reason Akihabara is caught in this time loop and the reason delusions have been spreading through the town. What? You figured it out? That's wonderful, Saki! It's related to the history of Akihabara and the town's current state. I don't exactly have proof of this yet, however. What do you mean by that? Akihabara has changed its form from one generation to the next. It's been the radio town, the electric town, and now even the idle town and the maid town. But every time it changed, Various forms of delusion would fill each corner of Akihabara anew. I see where you're going with this. There was once a time when Akihabara was all about audio, too. When the town changes, though, it changes fast. And the old Akihabara is simply left behind, forgotten. Which leaves those who were caught up in the old Akihabara trapped in delusions of the past. And with every new change, their number kept increasing. And now Akihabara itself has been left behind. Unable to move into the future, it simply began to repeat the past. I see, and that would explain all the delusions, too. It's a twofer explanation. Humans carry the past along with them. We're always looking at old memories through rose-colored glasses. So the people who love all the old Akihabaras are deluding themselves about how much better things used to be. And they want the town to stop changing so badly that they've blocked its future from even happening anymore. And so this Sunday will keep restarting. The same day repeated forever and ever. Or at least that's my unfounded theory. I have no proof aside from the fact that Akihabara is a hotbed for delusions. Yeah, so that's great, but what does all this mean for us exactly? It means that if we can nullify every single delusion encroaching upon Akiba, we can break out of the time loop. Oh! Well, that's an easy enough concept to grasp. So we just gotta take down all the Grand Phantasms, then. Not to poke holes in your airtight theory, but how does any of this actually work? If Akihabara is repeating due to a change overload, shouldn't this have happened a long time ago? And how can a bunch of deluded losers in Akihabara cause the entire world to skip like a record? That's the big question. I did say I didn't have any proof. It is hard to imagine how and why Akihabara would be able to affect the entire world, to be honest. But still, but still, I think you're right. It must have. And if it has, that would mean... We need to go back to the one remaining delusion in Akihabara. The Chuni delusion. If we get through that, everything might finally be resolved. I had a feeling you were going to say that. Collectible shop. Perhaps we can buy some.